Hello guys, let's discuss this problem from congruence of triangles. Where this problem says in triangle PQR which is on your right hand side, side PQ is equal to QR which means side this PQ is equal to side QR. Where L, M, N these are the midpoints of the sides PQ, QR and RP. And what you need to prove here? You need to prove that side LN is equal to MN. So first of all write down what you have been given here for this triangle. You know that PQ is equal to QR. This is given. What else you know? You know that L, M, N these are the midpoints. So when you know that PQ is equal to QR which means if let's suppose the side PQ is equal to QR is equal to X and as L is the midpoint so PL will be equal to QL and QM will be equal to MR. You can write down this is equal to this. Why? Because you know that PQ is equal to QR and L and M these are the midpoints. So if this is the midpoint this will be dividing it into halves. As the length of PQ I have supposed the value of this is X. So when this midpoint will be dividing it into two equal halves so this will become x by 2 and x by 2. Again this will also become x by 2 and x by 2. So you can write down this as PL is equal to QL is equal to QM is equal to MR. So this has been also given. Now as N is also the midpoint which means PN will be equal to NR. This is also given. Now from all these given facts, you need to prove that LN will be equal to MN. So first of all, let's consider triangle PLN and triangle MRN. You must be wondering why I am just taking these two triangles. Why I am not taking these two triangles? Why? Because you need to prove that LN is equal to MN. And you know that LN constitutes the constitute the side of this angle and MN constituting this angle this triangle so that's why I am considering these two triangles so let's consider these two triangles triangle PLN and triangle MNR in these two triangles what do you know you know that PN is equal to NR you know that PN is equal to NR and you also know that PL of this triangle is equal to MR of this triangle both are x by 2 x by 2 so write down PL is equal to MR and you also know that these two angles will be same you must be wondering why let me tell you first of all write it LP N is equal to angle MRN. Why? Because you know that PQ is equal to QR which will make this triangle an isosceles triangle because angles opposite to two equal sides will be equal as well. So as these two sides are equal PQ is equal to QR so which will make this triangle an isosceles triangle that's why those two angles are same because PQ is equal to QR simple fact so now you can see here this is side this is side and this is angle I have already discussed these kind of problems with you this is angle and these two are the sides if angle between the two sides is equal to the angle between the two sides of other triangle then those two triangles will be congruent to each other so triangle PLN is congruent to P, M, N, R. And when two triangles are congruent, which means when you will put one triangle over the other, so those two triangles would be same in dimensions. As you already know, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. So their third side, which is L, N and M, N will also become equal because now you know that these two triangles are congruent. So you can write down here, L, N will be equal to M, N, hence proved.
Why? Because these two triangles are congruent. You can make these two triangles here. P, N, L. This is theta. Here. R, N, M. So this is also theta. What do you know? You know that Pn, Pn is equal to Nr which means this and Pl is equal to Mr which means this. So when you put one triangle over the other their third side will have to be same. Why? Because congruent triangles has to have same dimensions. They are supposed to have same dimensions. So that's why their third side will automatically will become equal when it will be satisfying the condition of SAS rule. Side angle side rule. So here you can see that it is satisfying the SAS rule. Here this angle included between the two sides of this triangle is equal to angle included between the two sides of this triangle. So that's why according to SAS rule it is satisfying this SAS rule. That's why the third side will automatically will become equal. I hope you are having no doubt I will be taking more problems in coming video lectures. Thank you.